Hi guys, welcome back. We're opening some more mini brands. These are the Master Chef series with little food and resin that you can create little meals. So let's see what's inside. Okay, open it down Perfect. here. Oh, this doesn't work too well. No, oh, it doesn't. So it's one with resin because we got the chef hat. That's a little UV light. You can go ahead and open them because I'm going to find out probably before you what we have. These goods. I got, uh, Ooh, it's a new one. I got it's that word I can't pronounce. Profiteroles. I can't say that. But this is going to be cool. Gives okay. you the step by step instructions. Very easy to follow. Wait a minute. Is there two different kinds? Oh, two different Mine colors or kinds of resin blue. in here. Okay, very cool. This is my package. Okay, hers came with the pastries. That's super cute. So we got a bag of that. Instructions for the light that we don't really need. Comes with a placemat. We have a spoon. We have strawberries and mint leaves. So one whole strawberry, two halves, and a mint leaf. Also have some sliced almonds. We saw that previously in a different set. We also have some cream and some chocolate sauce. You get, ooh, this cool little dish. And then one of these that just snaps together. I think they've all come with those so far. So you can just elevate it, kind of like a little cake plate. And some tips for the resin. So let's get to making this. First step is to open these and dump them in there. Kind of have to cut far down. And for the most part, they give you exactly what you need. I've had a few leftovers, but not really. Oh my gosh, you're stuck in there. There we go. So there's five of them. They kind of just look like cream puffs. Those are very cute. I'm going to add them all in there. Like so. They have them actually like this. Guess that does look better. Um, then we're gonna add some of the cream. So I will have to open this. They are sealed good, fairly easy to open. That one opened nice. I only had one that was like kind of difficult, but like I said in a previous video, I don't like these lids because they screw on, but if you, you have to get it just right because if you crank it a little bit more, it completely starts over, it like comes off, so makes it difficult and sometimes the lids can fly off when you are squeezing them too hard. Doesn't tell you how much to use so we're just gonna drizzle it. Raylan's over here checking out the, oh see? You can't, these things are trash. Absolute trash and look at all that resin that was wasted. I probably could scrape that out with like a toothpick. Now it's all over my hand. How annoying. I'm gonna try to rearrange this. And put more of this on. Kinda looks like there's a decent amount based on the picture here. So I'm gonna add some more. Well, if I can. They kinda give you just enough resin too. Pop the air bubble. Okay, so it tells us to add the strawberries in. I find the instructions kind of are different than the other ones. Like some are very exact. It tells you exactly how many strawberries and the other ones is just like add the strawberries. <laughs> Which I guess in here, if you have to look at the pictures, otherwise it looks like we're just adding the one. And they're kind of like put all on one side too, which is, whoop, kind of weird. Just threw a bunch of resin on that, cool. I'm gonna turn it like that so you can see the half. Ooh, I think I need some more resin down here. It's pretty bare. And then I'll put the other strawberry there, I think. Okay, I added a dollop, so now I'm gonna take this and try to put it like that. That's pretty cute. Now it says to cure it if you're using UV, five to 10 minutes. If you're using sunlight, 10 to 20. 
Okay, we have everything that has hardened. Now we're gonna, ooh, I'm trying very lightly to not squeeze too hard. Don't wanna blow the cap off. And it just shows like a little bit. They don't drench it in chocolate. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's good. You think? Maybe we can put some down there because the um, almonds Ooh, yeah. are gonna need to stick. Extra good. That's pretty good. Okay. Oh, we gotta put the mint leaf on too. Oh yeah, that was, I will see them. They're, they have it off on the side. Let's see if we could find a cute little little place. Nook. Nooks, oh. look. Little nooks. One. Maybe like that. Two. And I did cut open the almonds. They literally look like almost like Sesame Street seeds. I almost said Sesame Street. Oh, stuck my finger in it. And again, they don't give you too much. Just a little, if at all. And give you just enough to build it. So let's go ahead and cure that and I'll be back to give you a closer look. All right. Here's the finished product. So I'm not familiar with this dessert. I think it turned out pretty cute. Easy to build, good instructions. And yeah, if you want to see us build any more of these, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.